I just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who's uh, voted for Weekend Drive on Greenlight. So it was Greenlit a couple of days ago. It's taken about three weeks altogether, which is very quick, especially since I didn't have a big audience, a big fan base to support me or propel me through Greenlight at all. In fact, I'll just show you the item stats. So in fact, uh, from item stats, it would look like it's been doing pretty poorly, actually. It's only got 780 yes votes when in fact the... Uh, uh, average has like three average top 50 have 3200 votes and you can see how the bar is as well that there's barely any interest in it uh, past the first few launch days whereas other titles have a lot more interest in them a uh, relative uh, but nevertheless so it was selected for green light so it's up to valve what they green light and what they don't i guess some of the things going for weekend drive is that it is a fully playable concept you can play the game try it out and people find it fun and it i guess it looks fairly good as well in terms of how it plays the game mechanics it's very clear what the game mechanics are so no ambiguity as well and i suppose um well i'll just probably leave it at that really uh but anyway so when is weekend drive coming out uh probably not in a long time uh, I thought maybe July this year, but I don't think so. I think it's later than that because I've got a lot of work to do. You see, when you release on Steam, you're only releasing once. So when you release, I've learned that from Guild Commander, that you have to do the absolute best that you possibly can, probably even better than what you think is the absolute best that you can do at the time that you thought that you should do that because, of course, your knowledge increases over time and so the best you can do keeps on increasing and increasing. Sorry, that was a bit convoluted. But what that means is that uh, I need to have more game modes. It needs to be a lot more fun, a lot more stuff to do in the game before I even bother thinking about releasing it even on early access. So in the meantime, updates. So I'll be, uh, the next major update should happen in March of this year. I'm still working away on uh, GTGD S3. So these tutorials, as you know, I'm working really hard on them and rolling them out as fast as I possibly can. So once they're completed, so there's eight base chapters, once those eight chapters, or probably the seven chapters, I'll probably stop with the bazooka and come with terrain a bit later. And once the base seven chapters are done, then I'll probably package it all up and release it on Steam, maybe in early access. I think I can do early access for GTGD S3 and then add on the final chapter a little bit after so that way i can at least put in some effort for weekend drive as well and then close off gtgd s3 the regular tutorials now there has been a pretty interesting idea you can go read up on it that why don't i take it all the way to the end and show how to get a game on steam i thought that's actually a I know I thought of that before, but I must, it must have slipped from my brain, so it's good to have someone wrote it and uh, reminded me that I could do something like this, and I can do something like that. What it would mean, though, is it's not a detail, so like after Chapter 8, it becomes like a different kind of tutorials. It's not detailed tutorials where I show you a line-by-line -line code. Instead, it just shows you what I'm implementing roughly how I implemented it. So if I use asset store items, then what asset store items did I use? Roughly, how did I use it? If I can show you some detail in the code, then I show you the detail in the code. If I can't because it's too big and too bulky, then at least maybe explain some of the systems of what I'm making. And of course, I need to explain what is the game that I'm making. So I'll get to that. I've just got some rough ideas at the moment, but they're only just rough ideas at the moment. Once I have something clearer, then of course it'll be in videos and stuff, and that will give you a clear picture for this Series 3 of what, you know, how would you actually go about developing your own game, and then trying to, I guess, trying to gain some sort of an audience, or trying to get some interest in it, how to, you know, set up your IndieDB page, uh, make your YouTube video, some pointers on that, and then, you know, uh, creating a Steam community group, uh, I'm not too successful in that, so I'm probably not the best one to explain that sort of stuff. But uh, And then how to make your green light page, uh, try to make it more appealing and that sort of stuff. And hopefully get green lit. So there's quite a few things that like I have learned over uh, the years so uh, of making stuff. And then uh, over the past, I guess, what is it, like two years of green light experience now. So yeah, there is a fair bit that I could share as well. 
on how to, I guess, promote your game for green light and, well, give it the, a better chance. Well, the best advice I can probably give is to make the game as absolutely uh, in the best way that you possibly can to the best of your ability. Uh, but anyway, of course, that is, in fact, something that you have to just learn by experience. But anyway, I've rambled on, which is normal. And, um, okay, well, I guess that's it. So I guess thanks once again. And yeah, so in summary, uh, Weekend Drive, you won't see it released on the Steam Store uh, for a long time. Well, until I've made it really, really awesome. And then you'll, in the meantime, updates will be on IndieDB. Updates will start rolling out in about March, because in March, that's when GTGDS3 should be on the Steam Store. And at least in early access at that point, with at least seven chapters fully completed. And GTGDS3 will then get more videos added at a slower rate, because I'll be working on Weekend Drive. And eventually, Weekend Drive uh, will be the priority and the GTGD S3 project will be a lower priority but I'll be at least showing how to develop stuff and how to try and get a game on Greenlight. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good time and uh, whether you're playing or uh, just studying and learning.